So, recording this video makes me hard, and there's two reasons for that. The person I'm recording this video with, first off, makes six million dollars a year from his agency. From his agency, not courses. So, you know, Iman who? Joel Kaplan who? Charlie Morgan who? Because this guy we're about to talk with today is scary. This guy's company is on the fucking Inc. 5000, fastest growing companies in America with 50 employees with meetings talking about like core values and shit. That's the level he's on. And he drives a Lamborghini, but not just any Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini that he bought from the money he made from his agency. Now, let me ask you this. Who do you know that has an agency that has, you know, the nice car, the nice watches, but doesn't sell courses? Now, let's take a quick second to reflect on that question that I just asked right there. Right? Me neither. The only person that comes to my mind when I think of someone flexing a car like that is Hen's Advice. And he doesn't even have an agency. He just straight up went to Miami, rented a Ferrari for a few hours, and then just started selling courses. And now he's back in Norway and, and he shaved his head, apparently. I don't know why that just sticks in my mind so much. Anyway, all that to say that this guy makes a remarkable amount of money from his agency. The second reason recording this video makes me hard, I managed to get this mystery person to reveal so much about his agency, I almost feel guilty. Because I want you to imagine this for a second. You come across an agency owner making $6 million a year from his agency. Let's say you guys are both at a restaurant, uh, you know, on your laptop, working, whatever. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, and it's like you kind of get a glance at his computer and you see, you know, his ads manager tab is open, his high level tab is open. And you're like, man, I could, I could just, like, I could just do a quickie right now. I could just, you know, go through the tabs, check out the ads he's running for his clients, fucking check out the follow-up automations on his high-level account, like fucking pull up my phone and shit, you know, go through the tabs, you know, record it. And then later, you know, in the night when it's 1 a.m., you know, you're going to pull up your phone, you're going to open your laptop and you're going to fucking copy paste monkey see monkey do that shit hard so anyway this zoom call is pretty much me doing that uh he's gonna go over his financials his facebook ads including the copy and the visuals fucking his entire high level setup he even goes over his excel sheets for how he manages 50 appointment setters and with that said i'm giving you guys this information on a silver platter on my channel. So all I ask from you is that you like this video because you know, first off, you're going to come back to it. If you know, we all know. And then once you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. We are the fastest growing SMMA client acquisition channel, whatever you want to call it. And with that being said, props to Steve for coming on and sharing literally everything about his service delivery with us today on this video. He also has a YouTube channel. You guys can check it out right after this video and let's get into it. What's going on? My name is Stevie Johnson. I am a now coming on six years agency owner. I live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I'm going to be showing you guys basically our 30,000 foot view of our system on how we service our clients. It's pretty simple, but it's very effective. And this is how we've gone from zero clients to right around 160. Um, we do mid seven figures a year in revenue, uh, multi seven figures in net profit. Profit super important. Num none of the numbers, ad spends included. So make sure you got that. I know a lot of people on Thomas's channel, you guys are just starting out. You guys are brand new. And so I think this is a very important slide real quick. Just so you guys understand that I'm not like a unicorn human being that has all this sort of business skills when I got into it. Like when I started out, I was pretty much retarded. This is me six years ago had zero skills, zero business skills, zero everything, Facebook, nothing. Um, came across Ty Lopez ad, bought it, and the rest is history. So I used to make breakfast burritos and smoothies and shit, $14 an hour at 24. So if you guys are 24 or even older, just know like five years, you put in the work and you really, really like focus on providing value, you can get rich. This is how things are going now. Um, obviously, I'm the founder CEO of Digital Ox. You know, we do millions a year. We've actually, this is going to be our fourth year as a seven figure agency. So none of this is like gimmick one time type of shit. I've over 25 US employees and growing. Last year we were 
380 on the Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies. And to be honest, guys, SMMA, I went from zero dollars to being a multimillionaire doing this type of business model. So it fucking works. You just got to be a beast. And you got to um, build something very valuable. Not not a lot of people who have an agency and don't sell the courses, like have the nice car, the nice watch, you know, so yeah. that's pretty remarkable, honestly. Just build build a legit business, guys. And, and digital marketing, SMMA is uh, definitely a super awesome proven business model. So let's jump into this. Um, first, let's start with Facebook ads. So obviously, you guys all know Facebook ads. We are basically servicing medical clinics across the United States, soon to be dental offices as well. Um, we specialize in high ticket type stuff. We use a lot of different types of animated videos, native creatives. Obviously, here's a pretty specific like eye-catching video for a specific back pain condition. We like to use lead forms. So I'm going to spam our own team, but I'll put test to so say no. Um, this is a cool question. What is the best time of the day to confirm your appointment? Kind of just gives us a little heads up on, you know, what times are best probably to call them. And they know that we're calling too. So obviously this is a very simple, I think this is a two-step review. Perfect. So now we go to the thank you page. Obviously we want to get them to call us right away, our appointment setting team via phone, but we also want them to fill out our pain assessment is what we call it. So let's go over there. So from the lead form, we're taking them off Facebook into a go high level funnel, if you will. And so step two, fill out the 60 second assessment to secure your spot. We have a little real photo of the office, just native personal touch. Um, we re go over the offer and then we have this go high level questionnaire, basically just asking them questions about their condition, all types of more niche type stuff that's going to give our appointment setting team information to use on the appointment setting call. Um, do you have any questions here, Thomas? Do a lot of people from the form click on this and like fill it out? So we have a 60 something percent pain yeah. assessment conversion rate. Okay. We're working, you know, obviously I'm improving those numbers, but yeah. 67%. One cool thing though, which was mind blowing, uh, cause we all thought different is we thought that people that filled out pain assessment would end up reflecting in the numbers of people who scheduled more and closed more. And it was literally like 55% 50. So even people who didn't even do all this showed up in the office, just as many, basically just as much as the people who went through the whole process. We thought it was going to be way different. So just, just let you guys know some insight data on that. Once they fill this out, they call us great. We love phone calls, right? That's super hot lead. But if they just fill out the form and they fill out this pain assessment, all that is now going into Go High Level. So we manage all of our clients through Go High Level, super awesome platform. And I can basically just play you guys what a typical call would sound like right when that lead comes through. This is Steven. Hi, Steven. This is Tessa Chronic Care. I'm talking about the anchor you put out with us regarding your back pain. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. That's good to hear. Well, I'm the intake coordinator for Dr. Scott. I just want to call you and ask some questions. We can see if it's worth your time to drive down here for consultation. Yeah, I was kind of just curious what your guys' procedure was. You know, I can see a little bit. So basically, as you he see here, we have a very straightforward, strong, open, who we are, clinic we're calling from. We just received your inquiry that you filled out on Facebook regarding your back pain. Immediately they know, okay, not a spam call, whatever, right? Uh, very familiar words. And then we jump into our phone process, our script, the questions that we're getting to make sure that they're qualified. It's a good candidate, all that good stuff. Basically we can jump to Which will include a one-on-one -on -one consultation with Dr. Scott, a physical exam, an x-ray if needed, and your first treatment if you're a candidate. And then before I go ahead and finalize your appointment, we do have a very busy office. So no-shows really disrupt Dr. Scott's schedule. To avoid any no-shows or last-minute cancellations, we do charge a $25 no-show fee. So to reserve your spot, we do hold your credit card on file. But again, this consultation is completely complimentary. Which card would you like to use to reserve your spot? Well, let me see. All uh, right, it's a uh, MasterCard. So you guys get the point. Um, Normally, our calls go anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes. We're getting a lot of information, we're building a lot of trust, building a lot of relationship, making sure they're qualified. And uh, we do everything from prepays, insurance intake, qualification, insurance verification, everything. So very, very turnkey for our clients. Um, obviously, we've been doing this for five years. Uh, this didn't start last week. Um, it's been a lot of you know variations to this, a lot of hard work, but this is what we do. So now we book an appointment. Where does it go? How do we manage 
all the data in our clients' type stats. We actually do it through Google Sheets. So we're a Google Sheets company. Uh, right now, it just works for us. And so right here is like a master sheet where we have all of our appointment setters on the bottom. Basically, what we can do, for example, is click on Andrea. This is Andrea's list of 10 clients. She has 10 live clients right now. And when we want to see a specific client and how they're performing, we would click on the exact link. And that link is going to be the actual ROI result sheet of the client per month. So on the bottom, you see we have February, March, April, May. We know exactly what's going on every single month. So obviously we're in March right now. So, so far we have 12 schedules, uh, six shows, zero no shows, one cancel, one reschedule, 11 prepays, uh, one close so far for 11,500. And we have six pending appointments. Here we break it down by name, obviously campaign, appointment date, we get occupation, credit scores. We get very, very granular detailed. Any questions here, Thomas? Um, so yeah, does the, does the client like come on here and cause how do you know the close rate? Right? Yeah. So perfect question. So everything in blue, we fill out everything in green, our client fills out. We have, we don't even have access to edit anything in the green. That's what our clients do. So you can see our client is, uh, uh, on it right now yeah so we better get off it. No, I'm kidding. uh but yeah this is how they let us know like financial issues what's going on so at the end of every month we know everything we know why they didn't close what happened and so we can have a legit game plan and uh, we're not just a marketing agency we're a legit business you know growth company so we go way deeper into like you know sales trainings and all types of trainings to really not just provide them the appointments and, and all that type of stuff and handling all their front end marketing, but also making sure that their staff and them as a clinic are growing as, as business owners. Yeah, that's really impressive. Next, kind of jumping off topic a little bit, but it's still on topic. How do you manage a team of 20 appointment setters soon to be 30 and growing, right? It's We basically became, I started the company as a marketer and had no idea that we'd end up becoming a sales company, if you think about it, because we basically run our team like an inside sales floor. A lot of our people come from sales backgrounds, um, startups, things like that. Our COO came from a startup with 60 in inside sales reps calling, calling, calling how they manage the whole thing. It's pretty, pretty crazy. So we basically manage our team like, like a inside sales floor. So we have um, leaderboards, right? Leaders get bonus. First place is 600 bonus. Second place is 400, third place is 200. Everyone wants to be on the leaderboard, right? We review this every single day. We have spiff competitions where each month, whoever wins the exact KPI, where it's whether it's like whoever has the highest show rate wins $400 Amazon gift card buyout to like upgrade their workstation so they can get another screen, another uh, mouse. They can just buy all this type of stuff. But all this goes to workstation upgrades since we are a remote company. But KPIs can range from show rates to schedule lead percentages to just total shows to um, all types of stuff that like makes the bow go faster. Also on this guys, like this is kind of not that important, you know, in the beginning because you're just trying to get your agency off the ground. But once you build a team, it's really important to have strong core values. Like these aren't just words down here. Like this shit means legit meaning in our company. Like speed, we are fast and effective. We move quick. Anyone that is outside of that sort of mentality is gone. And we hire on that and we fire on that process. We have a very detailed process. We can't have people doing whatever the hell they want. Just you do that, you do that. There's no way. There's no way we could scale to eight figures if shit's all over the place. So process will get your ass fired and we just don't tolerate it. Innovation, we're consistently measuring all the data, all the data points and always striving to um, grow the numbers. Teamwork, obviously there's a lot of us working together. Everyone plays a super important role in the client. And then impact, we obviously get to you know, help a lot of clients make more money and just live better lives. So this is a sheet we go over. One another win we did super big is uh we started to really build a lot of schedulers. So we actually built teams. So now that we have teams, they all get to meet every day and have their own sort of like incubator Q&A. We have team leads. These are all veterans who've been with us for years. And so this is really good for training new employees and just really having that good culture, uh, remote culture bond where they can talk to each other every day and just share what's working, share what's not. Cool thing too is every quarter we have huge bonuses. So the team who wins with the most points, we go on a uh, quarter trip, whether it's like Miami or Austin, Texas, or we fly them all out, get Airbnbs, have a bunch of fun. Uh, they get a bunch of digital ox gear, but it's very competition, very sales driven, very data driven, high performance culture. 
that's the only way we can do what we do is just to have that sort of standard, but you have to make it fun. Outside of that, if I could do a plug real quick. Sure. Uh, so we are hiring for the appointment setter role in California, Florida, Texas, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina. If you guys have any A player sales type experience, friends, family, tell them to apply on Indeed. It's a 60 to 75K a year role. One year inside sales is, is necessary. 401k premium health insurance, badass company to work with. You're going to learn a lot or you or whoever you want to refer. But if you know someone looking for a job who's like an A player, tell them to go through the Indeed process. And if we like what we see, um, we'll we'll interview them. Lastly, follow me on Instagram. Follow my journey. We're going to eight figures. We're scaling. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. I'll plug everything in the description. So yeah, overall, I think like from your story, I think the most interesting part is that you just like kept pushing. Like when people start an agency, they they just kind of like, you know, go into a niche and they just, they're like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do like Facebook ads. And then um, for you, you tried that in the beginning, but then the problem with your clients were like, they're just leads. Right. And then, so you started doing the appointment setting. And then yeah. from there, you just built a team of appointment setters. And then from the, you just kept going on, kept optimizing, kept optimizing, but like doing the same thing and just doing it better with time. And yeah. I feel like that's such a big thing. Like just, you just kept going for like such a long period of time and a bunch of people think it's like, you know, they just try for like one year and they stop. It's just about doing more of the same thing. And it, and over time it just compounds. Like last year you had, you, you did 2 million, right. And then this 2. year, you, yeah, 2.7. And then you, you doubled that. And yeah. then, you know, this year you're going to double yeah. that again probably right yeah no it's at the end of the day guys you need to know you need to, you need to know your your why like if you're not if you're chill with a job then you're never going to build this shit because this shit is complicated it is hard i'm not going to lie to you and say yeah this is easy but i mean dude i ain't making burritos and shit for till i'm 30 i wasn't going to do that so when i saw ty, ty lopez's ad about digital marketing the fact that you could get a client to pay you a thousand bucks and if you got 10 10k a month it was fucking game over so i isolated for two years went so in and then obviously you start your agency you, you run into problems and you can either just do nothing about the problems or you can find solutions around them so for us we were losing clients because of the phones solve that there was more there's always problems so you just got to be a problem solver got to get thick skin and uh at the end of the day it's worth it guys it's it's, it's better to be rich than to be poor that's all i got appreciate you coming on and i'll i'll plug everything down below i uh checked out your channel it's like really solid you know you give out a ton of value on there for free just like showing your sales calls everything so guys mm -hmm. go check that out and yeah thanks again for coming on i think this will be like a sick sick video so yeah appreciate Great. it thanks man